So in terms of treatment of REM sleep behavior disorder, the treatment management depends on the presentation. If the patient is potentially injuring himself or a bed partner, then it treatment may be warranted at that point. But if it's not really causing any problems, then treatment might not be needed. So the primary intervention that I recommend to all my patients is maintaining a safe sleep environment. So one thing that we want to avoid is a patient falling out of bed. So, you know, interventions can include potentially having a railing or having the bed set on the floor or setting something on the floor that might prevent injury if, if someone to, were to fall off. The other thing, uh, if no intervention is warranted, then at the very least, I recommend that a bed partner have a pillow in between themselves and the patient to potentially avoid injury. Now, if the dream enactment behavior is quite violent, and potentially injurious, then at that point, I would likely recommend medication. The medications that have the most evidence in terms of efficacy are clonazepam um, and melatonin. Now with the new clinical practice guidelines offered by the American Academy of Sleep Medicine just published in, on April 1st of this year, they also added Premipexol as another potential agent that we could use and transdermal rivastigmine for patients who have isolated RBD and mild cognitive impairment. So in general, I look at the presentation of the patient and also look at their comorbidities. If they have untreated sleep apnea or they are at risk for falling, I generally avoid clonazepam or as benzodiazepines can potentially cause falls and worsen sleep apnea. In those cases, I would opt for melatonin first. And specifically, I want to clarify that the melatonin that we we prescribe is melatonin immediate release. They usually start off at either a low dose or a slightly higher dose, depending on, on again, the patient's presentation and tolerability of the medication. Now, if a patient is younger and doesn't have comorbidities, then I may consider clonazepam at a low dose and then go up if needed. Now, in cases where uh, the, uh, the RBD is refractory, then we want to make sure we're not missing some other factor that could be worsening it, say a comorbid sleep apnea that's untreated. And um, I will combine medications in those difficult to treat conditions uh, or cases just to make sure that we try to avoid medic or injuries as, as much as possible.